Hi everyone, me again in partly cloudy Smyrna, Georgia, as you can see. Uh, my neighbor's flowers are out over there. But uh, if uh, you haven't been doing what I've been doing, I've been laying awake at night pondering a problem. And my problem was this, now that I have a Riker and I have a 14 foot trailer, <coughs> am I gonna be able to get the Riker and the Spider in the trailer at the same time? So we can take our trips. Well. Looks like I was able to do it. Here she is. As you can see, I've got uh, the Riker in here. Let me pull the camera around there. As you can see, I've got the front wheel up over there with the chalk there, not against the wall. I've got also one you can't really see very well, chalk right there. And behind it, blocking it in, I've got the bike turned pretty far. And as you can see, I've got it pulled here up against the wall. Plenty of room between them. <clears throat> this is the same method I use on the Spider. It's a piece of plywood with some furniture sliders underneath it on a little carpet. And uh, let me get up here and show you. As you can see, I've got plenty of room from the back of the spider. In fact, I think I may come back a little more uh, just to clear the door a little bit more, maybe another inch or two. Uh, I've got plenty of room on that side. Oh, I just turned the lights on. <laughs> and uh, I've got room here. The only thing that is a problem is this mirror. I'm going to have to rotate the mirror up. I like it forward, but it's going to have to go up. Uh, and I can certainly just do that for the trip. It's easy enough to turn it up. But uh, uh, everything's going to be locked down. Um, there's the spider in there, as you can see. Go right here to the front and show it to you. <coughs> and this is, again, this is a 14-foot trailer with a ramp, built-in built ramp. It is four, it's seven feet wide. We've had it. We've hauled my bike, this, this, the Yamaha and the spider here, with the spider up front and my bike on this left side. You can see i got chocks there, chalk behind it. Uh, chocks over here and even though it doesn't look like it's a lot of room there's pretty much room between where the door is the door is actually right about here and uh, maybe three fingers away and I'm gonna again I'll move it back another inch so that'll give plenty of room I'm gonna I've got tie downs here I'm gonna lock everything down good I'll move these tie downs over here and so everything is tied down good nothing will move the brakes really hold well on these and uh, you see the lights are still on on the Riker where I hit the button but uh, I think it's going to work. I uh, haven't taken it on the road yet, but based on how heavy, how, how far down it's pushed the uh, tongue of the trailer, I think I'm, my balance is going to be perfect. Certainly can't move anything farther backwards, although I could add some more weight back here. Believe it or not, the Riker is lighter by about 100 pounds than my Yamaha is, so it shouldn't make any difference at all. Oh, hold on. i gotta turn. I got to put on the parking brake. It's fussing at me. There we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, like I said, looks like I got plenty of room, and uh, hopefully she's going to trailer well. So, if anybody asks you if you could haul a Riker and a Spider RT in the same trailer, tell them yes. You need a 14 foot by seven, and it's not a V nose, but it's a gently, uh, gently rounded nose, and so uh, that makes looks like that's what's going to make the difference is having that little nose on it. But anyway. I'll let you go. Uh, everybody have a great day. Get out and ride them if you got them. And I'll talk to you after. I'll let you know how this works out. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.